The universe is full of surprises, and astronomers using the Chandra X-ray Observatory recently made a stunning discovery. In the constellation of Pisces, scientists have found a white dwarf called G29-38 that is devouring the planets that orbit it. The dead star's strong gravity is tearing these once massive planets apart, turning them into hot, glowing lumps of plasma. However, not all planets surrender without a fight when they are swallowed by their host star, sometimes the star ends up biting off more than it can chew. Astronomers at the University of California have found that while stars can consume small planets like Earth without any problems, if a Jupiter-like superplanet collided with a star, it would create a huge shock wave that could cause the star to expel all of its extremely hot atmosphere of plasma into space. This process is so intense that it can even tear the star apart internally. The impact is so violent when a planet collides with a star that it disintegrates and hurls matter and gas into space. The ejected matter and gas can come together and form a whole new world. However, these exiled planets often have to endure harsh conditions as they travel through space alone. How do these wandering planets adapt to new conditions in the deep cold of space? And what other strange worlds does the universe harbor? Wandering planets, which were knocked out of their original orbits and now wander aimlessly through space, are a great mystery to scientists. It is estimated that there are billions of them in the Milky Way alone. Astrophysicists have found that planets in young star systems, where protoplanets compete for building material, are more likely to become rogue planets. In these systems, planets collide with each other or move too close together in orbit, causing a larger planet to push a smaller one out of the system. But even the oldest planets aren't immune to being thrown around at random. A passing star or black hole can upset the delicate balance of an established planetary system, ejecting one or more planets from their orbits. An exiled planet faces a terrible fate. Once outside its star system, its surface cools down to the temperature of outer space, minus 270 to 455 degrees Fahrenheit. If the planet has liquid water oceans, they turn to ice. Such a planet would not have seasons or a day and night cycle. However, Professor Manas V. Lingam of the Florida Institute of Technology believes that life can still thrive on wandering planets. How is this possible? Imagine a rocky, wandering planet similar to Earth. It can emit heat from its core for billions of years. That heat could be strong enough to melt any ice on its surface and form bodies of water. On Earth, we have already observed this phenomenon as scientists have discovered lakes and rivers of liquid water under the ice of Antarctica, home to microbes, mollusks and strange fish. Similar life forms may exist under the ice of wandering planets. And if that planet has a dense hydrogen atmosphere, life could even exist on its surface. If a wandering world manages to maintain its atmosphere, it traps the heat coming from the core, preventing it from escaping into open space. A large moon that normally orbits such planets would also contribute heat, stretching and squeezing its neighbor under gravity. The idea of the existence of such planets is just a hypothesis, but NASA will soon be able to verify their existence with the help of extrasolar object interceptors. These compact radioisotope electric propulsion probes will be able to intercept a wandering planet or other celestial body that enters our solar system, collect samples, and return to Earth. Spacecraft with this technology can even reach an interstellar object and return to Earth with samples within 10 years. However, the exiled planets are not the only ones that intrigue scientists. Located in the constellation Virgo, 2300 light years from us, is PSR B1257 plus 12, also known as Poltergeist. This planet has been a source of mystery and intrigue for astronomers. Its existence is particularly puzzling because it orbits a pulsar, which forms when a massive star collapses in a violent explosion, leaving little chance for any planets orbiting around it to survive. However, against all odds, the poltergeist not only survived, but remained intact and unchanged. Astronomers have discovered that the planet is composed of space debris. After a supernova explosion, a multitude of pieces of destroyed celestial bodies were launched into space and, over time, they formed the poltergeist. According to scientists, the planet must have a solid rocky surface. Its star's magnetic field is one of the most powerful sources of microwave radiation, and the poltergeist is constantly subject to ionizing radiation. These conditions would be fatal to all living things, but not on this planet. Recent studies suggest that a dense and extensive atmosphere could make the poltergeist habitable, as it would protect the planet from harmful X-rays and gamma rays. However, radiation levels on the planet are still much higher than on Earth, which would limit its habitability to just simple organisms rather than more complex life forms. 
For example, on Earth, a resistant bacteria called Deinococcus radiodurans has shown the ability to survive in radiation levels 500 times higher than what humans can withstand. So it's possible that similar organisms could also survive in poltergeist. The massive exoplanet Beta Pictoris b, located 63 light years from Earth, is another unique world. It remained hidden from scientists in a dense layer of gas and dust surrounding its young star. The star Beta Pictoris is only about 20 million years old. In 2022, astronomers discovered 30 exocomets in the star system, very similar in size to comets in our solar system. After years of observing through the veil of thick dust, scientists have finally seen the true face of Beta Pictoris b. The supergiant Beta Pictoris b has a radius 1.65 times and a mass about 11 times that of Jupiter. It rotates rapidly, completing one rotation on its axis in just 8.1 hours, faster than the solar system's gas giant, which takes 10 hours. But the main mystery of the planet remains unsolved. Beta Pictoris b is located at a distance of 10 astronomical units from its star, about the same distance as Saturn is from the Sun. However, according to astronomers' calculations, the gas giant has a temperature of 1,451 degrees Celsius 2,644 degrees Fahrenheit, which shouldn't be possible at that distance from its star. One possibility is that heat is trapped due to the planet's enormous mass and dense dust cover, a hypothesis that has yet to be confirmed. In the realm of the gas giants, there is one more celestial body that reigns supreme over Jupiter. AB Origi B, detected by astronomers in 2022 in the constellation of Origa, is nine times more massive than our solar system's gas giant, and has a radius 1.12 times that of Jupiter. Scientists call AB Origi B the elephant planet, and it is still forming in the system of its young star, which shines 38 times brighter than the sun. Furthermore, the planet continues to grow, defying all physical laws. It clusters in the most distant regions of its star system, more than twice as far away as Pluto is from the Sun and nearly 100 times as far away as Earth is from our star. A year on the exoplanet lasts 587.7 Earth years. According to standard scientific models, at this distance from the star, AB Origi b should not have acquired such a massive mass. Typically, this happens because matter and gas are drawn by gravity toward the protoplanet's core. However, it seems that there is not much building material available for the planet in the most distant regions of the star system. This means that AB Origi b must have formed in a different way. It is possible that planets could be born from space debris. When the disk around a young star cools, under the influence of gravity, it sometimes fragments into planet-sized pieces. One of these fragments may have contributed to the formation of the planetary giant. The planet continues to grow, absorbing surrounding gas, which is still abundant in the young star system. In terms of mass, AB Origi b is already approaching the threshold that separates it from a brown dwarf. But let's look at another system where there is a notable disproportion in sizes. Planet GJ 3512b is just 30 light years from Earth. It is a gas giant in the constellation Ursa Major and is half the size of Jupiter. It orbits a red dwarf that is nearly five times smaller than the Sun and 50 times dimmer. The mass of the red dwarf GJ3512 is at most 270 times that of the planet, while the Sun is about 1,050 times more massive than Jupiter. The discovery of a gas giant like GJ3512b orbiting a small star challenges conventional beliefs about planet formation. Previously, it was thought that only Earth-sized planets or more massive super-Earths could exist in such systems, and that gas giants could not form around small stars due to a lack of gas and dust in their disks. However, this assumption may have been due to the difficulty of detecting such planets in the faint light of their parent stars. These giants are thought to form from debris in stellar disks, but the paucity of material in a small star's disk makes the presence of a gas giant like GJ3512 be even more surprising. Scientists hope to unravel the mysteries of these worlds, mainly with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope and the European Space Mission Ariel. The launch is scheduled for 2029, focusing on the study of exoplanets. We hope you enjoyed this journey through some of the most fascinating planets in our universe. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by clicking the special thanks button, and stay tuned to stay up to date with the latest discoveries in space exploration and technology. Thanks for watching.